What's up guys, this is Aaron and I'm doing a review on the Icon Airframe Carbon Helmet. Um, just to give you a brief summary of my situation, uh, I'm a new rider and I was looking for a helmet. And obviously as you know, a helmet's the most important uh, piece of gear that you'll ever purchase. Um, and I was really looking for something that was um, very safe, but also fashionable. Uh, so I did my research online and I came across the Icon Airframe. Um, <clears throat> now, as you know, Icon's a very respectable company, and the airframe, if you didn't know, is basically like their, it's like their mass production line, like it comes in a bunch of different styles, and uh, it's a pretty cool helmet, this happens to be the Carbon, this is like their flagship, uh, the most expensive one they carry, and um, as you can tell, it's just, it's a beautiful helmet, it's, the design on this thing is, is, is ridiculous, it's phenomenal. Um, and honestly, since this is being recorded on a camera phone, this doesn't even really capture, it doesn't do any justice to this thing, you know. And if you go online and get some high quality photos, even then it really doesn't do the same either. You have to really see this thing to, to really appreciate, um, appreciate its beauty because it really is a very well made helmet. Um, really quickly, the positives of this thing, I would just say, is the fact that uh, it's very light for the size, 1,450 grams, I believe it is, um, which is extremely light, and here on top you have, let's just show over the details, you have some vents here, a vent here, um, the interior is um, antimicrobial, uh, it comes out, the guts come out, you can clean it. So basically, if you're riding for, you know, a couple days and it's hot and you're sweating, you know, it's not going to get all moldy and shit. So that's pretty cool. Um, on to the negatives. The negatives, I would say, for me, and this is the reason why I'm not keeping the helmet, and I'll show you what helmet um, I am keeping, um, is the size. Um, this this recording is not going to really show you, but this helmet is absolutely huge. This is a big massive helmet. I'm not talking about the interior. The interior fits true to size. Um, I'm talking about the actual shell. Now I'm about 5'5", 140 pounds uh, soaking wet and I'm not a skinny guy. I'm a pretty stocky guy actually and this thing just looks ridiculous on me. It's it's just it's a tremendously big shell. Um, and one of the things is when you go online and you look at these helmets, you don't really get an idea of, of the size of them because they're never really being worn by anybody. So for me, when I got the helmet and I tried it on, I was just like, holy shit, you know, this thing is, is gigantic. It was like I was wearing an old TV on my head. Um, and like I said, you really can't tell from these photos probably about how big it is, but I would not recommend this helmet. Um, to anybody who was under 5'10", um, if you're not a, a very stocky, broad type of guy, this is going to look awkward on you. Um, this thing was made for Thor. This thing is huge. Um, now, let me show you really quickly the helmet that I, I did get that um, I'm switching to. And this right here is the Next, Next XR1R Carbon. Um, another all carbon fiber helmet. This thing is ridiculous. Um, it's 1,200 grams. If you are a fan of going on YouTube and checking out some of the uh, review sites, this is usually the lightest helmet that I, that they've ever tested. Um, it's lighter than a lot of the um, not the full face uh, helmets. Um, this thing is again the detail on this thing is is unbelievable and. You know, this is this this uh, recording is not really going to do any justice. Um, it's got some vents on top over here. They're open and close. Um, it's got a mouth uh, a mouth vent here. Some really cool details. You got the silver plated carbon right there. Vents on the side. Exhaust on the sides. Um, right here, this a uh, few people probably think this is awkward. Um, the piece that changes the visor, but this is actually made to save weight. Um, so, you know, it's one of those things where you kind of have to sacrifice. Um, one of the, the most unbelievable things I, th I think about this helmet really is, and just to let you know, the interior is just like the Icon. It's a removable um, padding that you can take out and wash, uh, antimicrobial. 
Um, you take the guts out whenever you want and then put them back in. Um, but again, the most uh, I think the most impressive thing about this helmet besides the actual design um, is the peripheral vision is unbelievable on this thing. It's literally like you're walking around without a helmet. Um, besides the fact that it's just so light you don't even realize it's on there, like you can see pretty much everything. Um, it meets DOT and um, the ECE world standings too. So it's it's just the overall a ridiculously impressive helmet, um, and I love it. Uh, and the reason why I'm sticking with this helmet is because it fits me more. To me, it fits me more of a, like a traditional helmet as opposed to the Icon, which fits me more like um, Neil Armstrong spacesuit. I don't know if this thing is. I don't know if you can even tell. I don't know if you can actually tell the size difference. I'm gonna show you right here the size difference. There's a huge size difference. Um, and like I said, this thing is just absolutely huge. And I would have stuck with the Icon um, helmet if it fit me a little bit better, if it wasn't so big, you know. I don't want to go in the summertime to Ralph Ice's and it looks like I just flew a Saturn V rocket to the moon. It just, to me, this thing is tremendous. And like I said, if you're not under, uh, if, you're, if you're a smaller guy, you know, under 5'10", this thing might look awkward on you. Um, and I don't want anyone to go through the same shit that I had to go through. This is $1,200 worth of helmets, and just to pick out which one, you know, uh, I wanted. And luckily, there's a seven-day warranty on this where I can pretty much get my money back. So, um, you know, which helmet is nicer? I have no idea. They're both beautiful. It's like choosing Megan Fox or Adriana Lima. It's it's the, you can't do it. It's it's a it's a preference thing. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope that uh, this video has shed some light on on, on, on on people who are in the same situation that I am in. And, um, you know, any last minute uh, things I could possibly say would just be, uh, uh, I don't know, um, both beautiful helmets, very nicely designed. I think it really depends on, um, on your preference. Um, but I'm definitely most impressed with this uh, next helmet. Uh, a little bit more pricier. This helmet is $599 compared to $515. So if you have the coin to just uh, to shell out, honestly, I'd probably go with the next. It's got all the features of the Icon in a smaller, lighter package. Um, but again, it's a preference thing. So um, I don't know. Hope you liked the uh, video. Uh, enjoy riding and uh, be safe. All right, later, guys.